what's happening to Walker Pritchard's spread on that play, but I am Willie Williams. In case you don't know, you're new around here. I'm me, you, you. That's what's up. Click like, subscribe, do something. Fly like that. Well, out there in the Shy town they say, mm hmm Disturbing video shows girls jumping. Being a 15-year-old out there in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Now what they say? The, the babies out here acting like the baby's supposed to be acting. Now I know you're surprised that you be seeing people with vaginas out here jumping on other folk. Well, hell, they got video. So I'm going on the play for y'all. Be right back. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Police are investigating after some troubling video surfaces showing uh, the beating of a young girl. Yeah, certainly disturbing to watch. Tia is live this morning with the latest. And Tia, uh, we've been told that the victim is mentally disabled. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing as well. And, you know, I saw this video first on social media. I'll be honest, I couldn't watch it because after hearing the first scream that came out of Janice's mouth, it was very clear that this was a disturbing and heartbreaking video. You see her try to shield herself away from those attackers. Now, this is where the 15-year-old is now, Janice Harris. She's here at Comer Children's Hospital. She did suffer a laceration to the head. She does have some other injuries as well, but the mental impact is what's really going to tell the story of how well she is doing. Now, let's roll that video. It was posted to social media Tuesday. In it, five girls appear to attack Janice, and a boy hits the 15-year-old as well. And whoever is behind the camera, shame on you. That person had no problem recording this abuse. They only stopped when a Chicago police officer was riding down this alley on the south side. All the people in the video are underage, and to make it worse, Janice has special needs, and she thought they were her friends. Before the video, Janice had been missing since Thursday of last week. The video was recorded Tuesday, and after this attack, Janice fled again, and hours later, she was found riding on the blue line on Chicago's west side. Now, activist Stringer Harris was there to transport Janice here to the hospital. It is very clear that she's bruised but not broken. I want to thank y'all so much for inviting me because, like, I wasn't even, like, feeling well, and I am, and I'm blessed. The family do know who these, uh, who these kids are, um, and uh, they're very upset about this because they, these kids took advantage of this young girl, and uh, she does have a mental illness, and, um, you know, she was heartbroken about this situation, that her friends would do something like this to them. Two of them go to school with her, the other ones are just from the neighborhood. Well, Chicago police has assigned the special victims unit and they are investigating this crime. And certainly we hope and we pray that Janice has a full recovery. From Hyde Park, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 News. All right. Yeah, that's that what they say had a transpired out here. 15 year old mentally ill, ill girl thought that they was um her friends. Let me explain what's gonna happen. Nothing. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Now people, people from the community, people know who these folk are and why haven't they been picked up and charged with abuse out here, um, physical assault out here in these streets. But for some reason, the reporter lady point pointed out, and after she pointed out that a fella had an also hit her, then go to the cameraman and say, and just stood there and recorded some flash shit, I ain't do nothing. You ain't say shit about them bitches other than that they was hitting on them. You ain't get too upset until you talked about the fella and the camera person. You can watch the whole thing. Bush, baby, girl, stop playing. Just shit. Nah, you watch it a few goddamn times. If you got these goddamn emotions, how you get the emotions that you had on camera, baby? But you ain't watch. I'm just throwing out some, you know. Um, it's a good thing that she's in good spirit. She done bounced back, and she light skin. So y'all really ain't even did shit. I'm just trying. Told you, unless that was a video before. The incident, I doubt it. But remember they had done said that she had been missing since Thursday before the incident. And then went missing again. I know. I know what you're thinking too. Hell her parents said, who ain't nobody trying to check missing. If she went missing once and she mentally ill, there should be some type of tracking device on her. 
just throwing out something, you know, because I be doing what people don't do. I just be thinking, just saying something. But I will say this. Um, I ain't nothing going to happen to them coochies. Believe that. Your vaginas ain't shit gonna happen to them. I know, I know. Y'all think about juvenile detention and all that. It's gonna get on probation and community service. This shit ain't nothing because of the. Nah, nah. The fella, the fella gonna get sat down in juvenile. Believe in me. Fella gonna get sat down in the juvenile. They might ride you on out to 18, transfer you to like a little county facility or some, a little vacation property or something like that. And then you're gonna have this on your record and stuff, but they're not gonna put it on the vagina's records and stuff like that because they did it by mistake on purpose. They ain't mean to do it. And we feel like people with vaginas really can't hurt each other and stuff. Since y'all doing all that um, shooting each other out there in Chicago, I appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.